All right, y'all. I'm here to give my reaction to the topic that the Hodge twin is our on today. Ron DeSantis is a mother, is the man, yo, is the man on the real. Like these guys and plenty of other people say, I see a presidential candidate right there. If we make it to another presidential election, I'm seeing if Trump run, he might, he most likely will win. And right after Trump is done, I feel it's Ron Santez, the Santez should run. Because what he did down there in Florida is what is he proved that the narrative of of the Democrats and everything they ran on for the last two years was bogus. Everything. They they fear mongered and everything else. But anyways, but that's what I'm saying. Ron DeSantis, presidential candidate, 2028, if I'm not mistaken, should be elected. And Trump's, my, my, my thing about the 2024 thing, Trump, Candace Owens, um, I would say Trump to Santas, but nah, I think the Santas should stay doing what he's doing right now, get reelected and run in 2028 or for the 2028 elections. That's my opinion. You dig what I'm saying? Anyways, the name of this one is that they, the topic that they're on today is the don't say gay deal, which we all know is a lie. It's a lie. So let's see what they got to say, y'all. Let's go, boys. Oh yeah, I own no rights to their to this to this video. This is only my reaction to it. If I agree or not, but let's see what they got to say. And um, Hodge twins, y'all ever see my video? Don't make fun of my office. I think it's pretty decent for a first timer. Oh yeah, I had help, but for a first timer, I think it's pretty decent. Yes, I got to keep my closet doors open over here because. I get a major echo. I'm hoping I don't get an echo off this. I got an echo on my last video, but you know, it's a learning process. I'm going learning as I go along. All right, y'all. Try to keep this video as short as they got theirs. Florida came with this bill. bill. Okay, okay, it's, it's not, not called, called the Don't, don't Say Gay bill. bill. That's, that's what, what the left is telling. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not, not the name of the bill. bill. That's, that's a lie. Because, because I, you know, they're going to. So, so false, false representation, representation with the bills, bills actually. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you call, call that? In like it? it? Hmm? What's, What's it called? It called? Um, Strollman? Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Damn Strollman. Yeah, I think it, you misrepresent. So you can break, break on, on yeah, yeah, argument. They, they always do. What's going on because, because it's easy to turn down, down that line. line. Right, right. 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 So, so um, that's, that's what, what Democrats do. They're good at it. Very. There's a lot of hits and they fall for it. Yeah. But the census was hit up by this reporter. And the sentence, like, like the man that he is, he's a damn man. He's a damn man. He's a damn man. Hey, ah, I knew it. I don't know what he is, but he's going to be president for eight years. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Does it say that in the bill? Does it say that in the bill? I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill because you are pushing false narratives. It doesn't matter what critics say. Look at this patience, boy. That man got patience. For, 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 for grades pre K through three. Sexuality, you know, guys. It's like, like, I mean, if I'm straight, 
And I'm going to rock for leftists. So I can come out and say, say oh, don't, don't say straight, straight man. man. It's the, the same, same logic, logic just stupid. stupid. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You should not be going, going to kindergarten to third grade learning, learning about, about penetration and such. I don't know about that. It don't matter what how far they taking it. The thing is, kids shouldn't be learning about that mess all the way through fifth grade. I swear, it's bad enough they learn through what they see on TV, but yet and still, the libs or deep level Democrats want to teach our kids about sexuality, about gender and sex, and changing the words up and everything for the kids to be like, oh, okay, I guess I'm gay. You know what I'm saying? Like you influencing and you shaping their minds. You're supposed to be shaper of the minds of the kids' futures, but y'all, <laughs> y'all bringing the kids. Oh man, it's so it's so effed up, yo. Because y'all, it's like they just don't care about the kids. Actually, they just want them kids to grow up and and feel. Like everything that goes on in America is right. As long as the Democrats say so, they shaping the kids to be former or not former, they shaping the kids to be future Democrats. You know what I mean? Future pansexual Democrats or whatever you wanna, whatever the words mean and all that. The LGBTQQQ -Q -Q type dealio or whatever that is. They, te they trying to teach the kids to grow up to be that Understandable, you can accept it because I ain't got nothing against it. Like I said, I got a little sister that is. You know what I mean? Nothing against it. A couple cousins that is. Nothing against it at all. You know what I mean? Nothing. But to teach the kids that at a, such a young age, and then by the time they hit sixth grade, because I remember when I hit sixth grade, I was sexually active already. But I didn't learn none of that junk. In the school so that, that's what i'm saying it's bad enough we learn it from the streets or the neighborhood or our environments but now we want to not we they the democrats want to teach this to the kids in school this don't make sense to me man elementary at that yo when they minds are supposed to be just focusing on playing being kids being kids man all right let's finish them up I've, I've seen, seen like, like little, little cartoons, cartoons and comic books for little kids, kids teaching, teaching them about yeah, oral sex. Getting, getting sucked out. out. That's that's messed up, bro. <laughs> they they got that junk out here, yo. It's it's ridiculous. Shit, I mean, I mean it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so, y'all don't start over, right? right? Obama, Obama got that ball rolling. He let people get mad. They don't know when to stop. These radical leftists. These, These radical, radical liberal people, people, they're, they're not, not going to stop, stop until, until every public, public library, library has a glory hole. I'm telling you. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> the nigga just said that, dog. The reason why Florida came over to the video is that I mean, when you're talking to kids at that age about that, you're a woman. Yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Look, listen to this cartoon, man. Eight in the show. I didn't hear it yet, but I heard the beginning of it. That's what kids supposed to be doing. They teaching kids how to be gay. That's like teaching kids how to be straight. No, let them figure it out. Let them figure it out. Because it's not up to the adults to teach them about sexuality. It's up to them. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I'm so screwed up from a common standpoint. I like to go sexual. It's all started when I was like eight, nine years old. Exactly. Exactly.
No, don't put it like that, yo. Come on. That's ridiculous, yo. But I understand the logic. The logic is real. Stop lying, man. Lying to these kids. They won't know what they sex is. Okay. That's all. That's a lie, man. It's not the bill, bro. Exactly. Right. Keep it. right. It's it's kids. It's exactly, man. That's wrong as hell, man. Yeah, I don't understand, man. Hopefully, this will open up some people's eyes to me. You know what I mean? And my thing is, remember how back in the days when we used to be in school, elementary, whatever, any, any grade, and our parents will pop up unannounced and secretly stand out in the hallway and watch you from the hallway? You know what I mean? But you notice nowadays they don't let parents in the schools that quick and that easy. You know what I'm saying? You get in, they announce it now. You know what I mean? Like, hey, such and such, come to the office, your parents are here. Back in the day, you can walk in, let the office know you're there, and you can go check on your your, your kid. But you could be in the hallway and listen to them. Listen to what they're doing in the, in the class, see if they're acting up. I think that's what needs to be done here. We need parents, stand-up parents, that's against this mess, to start popping up at the school to make sure that their kids are not being taught this mess. That's what need to be happen. Need to happen, man. Real talk. And then we need some of these teachers, because these teachers right now nowadays, that's that from the two thousands up, basically has no morals. They fall along with the program of what they've been taught. The liberal, the democratic process of in schools. This is what they do now, man. So these teachers we have now, they're not teaching. You know what I mean? They just running the propaganda and they run it a scheme on our kids. So when they get older, bro, they all vote one way and they all start switching and their pants stay down like they've been what they used to do back in the day with, with the slaves when they what had a um when they sagging like that past the butt crack uh, well past the butthole pants below the butthole. The white man know, oh he been broken he's butt broken, you know what I'm saying? That's what they put in our kids to be to grow up to be again, man. We already got the hood kids doing that, um, pants below the their buttholes and all that, man. That's that's butt um, what they call it, butt broken or whatever you call that. Back when they, in slavery days and in the prison penitentiary, whatever, gay dudes used to walk around with their pants 
down like that to let them know they're available. This stuff needs to change. We need more parents to step into them schools and, and, and see to make sure the kids ain't getting taught that because I don't think it should have stopped should have stopped that third grade. I think it should have went all the way to fifth. You know what I mean? Because sixth grade, you get, you get, it's so much stuff happening in the sixth grade, yo. Once you hit that 12 and 13, if things going to happen, it's going to happen anyways. If you gay, you're going to be gay. If you straight, you're going to be straight. You know what I'm saying? You're going to choose what side you want to be on at that time. They trying to make it seem like kids is born this way. Some might be, but like I said, I got nothing against it, but you can't indoctrinate this and basically force this down the kid's throat where they got to accept this way of life no matter how they look at it they accept it when they get to the sixth seventh eighth grade whatever's going on in that time then that's what it is you know what i mean back in my days women girls didn't used to just go straight to slob it on the knob you know what i mean it used to be just we go straight at it you know what i mean now they just like the girls, teenage girls, yo, is literally just go straight slobbing at, on not. That, that's that's not cool, yo. So it's bad enough we got to deal with that situation and <laughs> that situation. Let alone now we got to teach it to them. So that means instead of the sixth grade, you gonna have them in the bathrooms and and all that sneaking out their classrooms in the fifth grade with same sex or opposite sex, but they want to find out what it was about that we learned in the first grade, in the second grade, in the third grade. You know what I'm saying? And now that the third grade is, is in, in Florida, it's cut off until the, up to the third grade. I think Ron's at the set test should have went all the way to the fifth. You know what I mean? Until they hit middle school because they're going to learn so much in middle school, it's going to be, you can't stop that. But you can put this, slow the process down of what they're going to do before they get there, you have, because by the time they get to the sixth grade, some kids are already figuring in their mind that they don't want to be in a relationship. I had my daughter, she said that. She was like in the third grade. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want to be in no, like that, no. No, I don't want no, uh, what I say? What I asked her a question or something, and we was all, and, and whatever, I can't remember what the question it was. Matter of fact, she might've been in the fifth, going into the sixth. I said, girl, you ain't got no boyfriend yet. Ooh, or something. And she said, Dad, no. I don't want no boyfriend until I graduate high school and college. I literally had a tear come down my, my face, yo. Gave her a little butter hug. Now she's 19 or, no, no, now she's 20. So I'm just saying, man, we can't let this happen, yo. We need parents to step up into them schools, you know what I'm saying? And see what their kids are being taught. See what's on their, um, on they, on they, and they, you know, whatever, dog. See what the kids being taught is what I mean by this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is some BS, man. And it's all Democrats. And we keep voting them in, yo. When are we going to open our eyes, man? Come on, man. Open y'all eyes, dog, and see what this world is coming to, dog. They trying to push a propaganda to basically just tear off the future kids. Of thinking on their own. Because nowadays these kids don't think on their own. If one kid say we finna go do this. All the other kids going along with it. Not one kid probably going to sit there and say. I don't think we should do that. It's ridiculous man. But anyways. I'm going to end this video. Excuse me for the words. I couldn't find word, right words. Because this is frustrating. You know what I mean. And people need to wake up to this mess man. It took me a long time. I think I was in my 30s when I realized what these what they trying to do you know what i mean collapse of america bro it's on the it's on its way it's on its way dog and they finna finish it off by taking the kids gotta wake up america we gotta wake up gotta wake up can't keep your eyes closed forever man y'all ain't blind and you can't hear and you see how they try to mislead this bill by saying it's the don't say gay bill get the heck out of here man nobody said that yo Stop it. Y'all lying, man. That's why we don't trust y'all no more, man. I never trust y'all anyways, but we really don't trust y'all now. Straight up. Ever since 2016. We ain't been trusting y'all since then. Y'all stop pandering to us, black folk. All of us don't need y'all to pander to us. We don't need y'all like that. So stop pandering to us. That's why y'all, I'm pretty sure that's why y'all left the borders open. 
so y'all can change the demographics and pin it to another group. Yeah, because y'all notice black people waking up to y'all BS. And that's it for the video. Like I said, I don't own no rights to this video, but this is my reaction and this is my opinions to this video or to this don't say gay builder as they trying to say, which all we all know it's a lie. It's the protect the kids bill to me. The protect the kids mind bill. That's what it should be called. Y'all have a nice day. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It don't really matter. Give me some input. Like I said, highest twins y'all ever see this video, don't talk about my office yet. It's going to be better one day.